ever wondered what would happen if like a being just decided to wipe out uh <laughs> the whole multiverse like mm. hit the reset button on everything mm. well that is exactly what we're going to be diving into today with aliens versus avengers number two yeah this is not your typical alien invasion story like the stakes are so high they're massive absolutely okay. and immediately we're just thrown into this crisis and it's orchestrated by none other than david eight david eight remember him yeah from the alien prequels yeah yeah okay. he's gone from messing with one world to like he is a full on <laughs> multiversal tyrant now. Cosmic tyrant. Yes. Wielding these xenomorphs like they're his own personal army. Right. And we even get to see him standing amongst like the ruins oh, yeah. of the engineer's homeworld. Which is just chilling. Such a chilling image. And it really ties back to those movies, too. It does. It does. You know, and what's so fascinating about this is that David A., he's not just a mindless monster. He's got this whole philosophy. Like he views himself as this gardener for the multiverse. Yeah. And he's just pruning away what he thinks is flawed. Oh, it's messed up. Yeah. It's really messed up. And, and you get the sense that this isn't some spur of the moment thing. Like this has been in the works. Oh, yeah. And we find out because Tony Stark reveals that he's known about this invasion oh. for a while now. He's known. He's known and he's been desperately trying to prepare and he knows he can't stop David Eight. Wow. Completely. So he's yeah. been working on a plan to at least get a small portion of humanity to survive. So that adds like another layer to this whole thing because it's like- It's tragic. Yeah, it's tragic. It's like he knows what's coming Can you and he's gotta make these impossible choices. Speaking of impossible choices, <laughs> there's this scene where Captain America and the Hulk, they get left behind on Earth oh. to hold back the xenomorphs so the others can escape. Oh, that is just heartbreaking. And you know they're going up against- An unstoppable force. Yeah, I mean, they... an unstoppable force. And the way it's depicted, yeah. they don't actually show them die. Right. Instead, it just cuts to the ship escaping. And you just know Cap and Hulk are back there. Fighting their last stand. It's rough, man. It's powerful. It's such a powerful moment. It is. It is. And then on top of all of this, you've got Miles Morales. Oh, yeah. Who's got his own unique problem going on. Right. Because he's got... Did it Venom? Venom symbio. And then... Uh, yeah. And then face hugger. Would Venom. you... Oh, it's a nightmare. So now you've got like two parasites. It's two parasites. Battling it out inside of him. Lying for control. Yeah. Like what is going to happen there? I don't know. Is it going to be a merger? Are they going to fight? What's going to happen to Miles? So many questions. So many questions. And the whole issue just feels heavy. Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of that is due to the artwork by Isad Ribic. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. The way she draws the heroes, like they look... Worn down, yeah. Exhausted. Yeah, they're carrying the weight of the universe on their shoulders. Mm. It feels real, you know? Yes, and you can see the toll it's taken on them, not just physically, right. but like emotionally too. Yeah. The lines on their faces, the way they're carrying themselves, it just shows how much pressure and how desperate the situation is. Absolutely. And so they're all aboard this giant arc that Tony Stark has built. Oh, that's their last hope to get off of Earth. No. Nope. And he makes it clear that every second counts. Every second. Like one xenomorph gets on board and it's all over. Wow. And he gives the order to launch. Oh, no. Knowing they're leaving countless people behind. Ugh, can you imagine? And then it cuts back to Earth and you see Cap and Hulk still fighting. Oh, wow. Completely outnumbered. Completely outmatched. Just buying time. And it's just filled with heroism and despair. What a powerful image. And Cap says... If I die in this swarm, was it in vain? Oh, man. It's like, what do you even say to that? Wow. This issue doesn't hold back, man. No, it doesn't. It's intense, and we only covered part of it. Yeah, there's a lot more to unpack. Join us for part two, where we'll get into even more of this. We'll see how those survivors are coping with their loss, and how they're navigating space, and what's going on with Miles. We'll be right back. So those heroes, they got off Earth. Yeah. But they're not out of the woods yet. No, mm -hmm. not even close. I mean, it's like... They traded one nightmare for another. Right. Space is huge. It's unforgiving. And they're carrying the weight of their loss with them. Absolutely. And I think that's what really stands out on this issue is the emotional toll of this whole experience. Yeah. It's not just about surviving physically. Right. It's the trauma. It's the fear. It's like what's lurking around the next corner. Yeah, for sure. And you can really see it with Tony Stark. Oh, yeah. I mean, he orchestrated this escape. Right. Right. And you can tell it's eating away at him. Mm. There's this one panel where he's just staring out into space and he says something about how this universe was a lost cause like 20 years ago. Oh, wow. So there's clearly something more to his plan. Yeah, there's always this feeling that he's steps ahead, always calculating. 
Right. But you can see the cracks starting to show. Yeah, the weight of all these impossible choices. It's a lot. And it makes you wonder, what does it even mean to be a leader in a situation like this? Right. When there are no good options. And then you've got Miles. Oh, Miles. Still dealing with that face hugger. That's right. From last issue. And now it's a race against time to get it off of him. Before it implants a xenomorph? Yeah. But remember, he's also got the Venom symbiote. Oh, yeah. That complicates things. It does. Because now you've got a battle of alien parasites going on inside of him. That's terrifying. It is. Like, can Venom even fight off a xenomorph? We don't know. And what if they merge? Oh, I don't even want to think about that. The possibilities are both fascinating and horrifying. Yeah, they really keep us in suspense. They do. Like, what's going to happen to Miles? I need to know. We'll have to wait and see. So as Earth disappears in the distance, a new fight for survival begins. Yes, both inside that spaceship. And inside Miles Morales. Exactly. And it just shows you the dark side of survival. Yeah. Like the choices you have to make, the losses you have to endure, the scars that stay with you even when you escape. This issue does not pull any punches. It doesn't. It's brutal, but it's also so compelling. Absolutely. And we'll be back with part three to wrap up this intense exploration of Aliens vs. Avengers number two. We're back, and this issue, man, it's been intense. Yeah. All this actions, the sacrifice, the scale of this whole thing, it's crazy. But what really got me is this idea of legacy. Oh, yeah. Like, it's everywhere in this story. It is. You see it with David Eight and his messed up ambition to, like, outdo his creators. Right, right. And you see it with the Avengers trying to protect humanity's future. Like, like he's almost a dark mirror of those engineers from the Alien movies. Yeah, yeah. They were messing with life, playing God, and now he's doing the same thing. On a multiversal scale. Exactly. He sees himself as a gardener, weeding out the stuff he doesn't like. It's terrifying. It really is. And then you've got the Avengers. They're like the other side of that coin. Right. Even when everything's falling apart, they're still fighting for what's right. They embody, like, the best of humanity. Yeah. Yeah. You know, courage and selflessness, that belief that things can get better. And that image of Cap and Hulk staying behind to fight. Mm, man. They knew they were probably going to die. Yeah, but they did it anyway to give the others a chance. That is legacy right there. Inspiring others to keep fighting no matter what. Absolutely. And then you've got Tony Stark. He's got all this knowledge that no one else has. Right. He had to make choices no one should ever have to make. Like abandoning Earth. Yeah. That's a huge sacrifice. It is, and it shows how far he's willing to go to make sure humanity survives. He's carrying the weight of their future on his shoulders. And even Miles facing that face hugger. Right. He represents this new generation of heroes. That resilience, that ability to adapt and fight back. Yeah. It gives you hope. It does, even in the darkest moments. This issue doesn't shy away from the tough stuff. It shows the losses, the scars, the tough choices. Yeah, but it also shows that there's always something worth fighting for. And I have to say, the art in this comic is just breathtaking. Oh, yeah. He saw Riddick. The way he captures the scale of it all, the emotion on their faces, the terror of those xenomorphs. Yeah, and the colors. Oh, the colors are amazing. The vibrant. Like a haunting, beautiful landscape. And the writing. Oh, Jonathan Hickman is brilliant. Yeah, he handles all these storylines, these complex characters. And he's not afraid to ask the hard questions. No, he isn't. It's a comic that stays with you. It does. It makes you think and feel. So that wraps up our deep dive into Aliens vs. Avengers number 2. A story about loss, courage, and legacy. And a reminder that even when things seem impossible... There's always hope. And always something worth fighting for. If you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend it. It's a wild ride. Absolutely. That's it for this episode of Cosmic Comic Clips Deep Dive. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Cosmic Comic Clips. For more deep dives into the world of comics. See you next time.